you and your grandmother heard of AI video. While there are incredible AI tools that can generate AI clips, making published ready videos involves more than that. But there is one company that blew everyone's minds when it comes to creating full videos fast. Today I'm going to show you how to harness the power of NVIDIA AI. The sponsor of this video to create amazing educational videos in your own voice using simple prompts. Stop struggling to craft the perfect AI prompt. Let meta prompting do the work for you. But wait, there is more. In this video, I'm going to create educational video about meta prompting. Same meta prompting that Anthropic now is offering up to half a million as an annual salary. Not only that, we are going to use Anthropic's Claude newest model to help us create prompts that we are going to use inside of NVIDIA AI. But first things first, we need to access the new beta features inside of NVIDIA AI. First, you need to log in into your NVIDIA account. You need to go to ai.nvidia.io. Go to settings and switch on the beta features. Head back to the home screen and select create AI video. And here you can select NVIDIA AI version 2.0. Now that we are all set up, let's clone your voice. I cloned my voice initially four months ago, and by doing so, I discovered a little hack that I want to share with you. But first, go to the left side of NVIDIA AI under plugins to see voices. Here you can see I have multiple voices added. I'm on a plus 2x account, and it allowed me to have four voices cloned. I'm going to delete the first version because that was before the hack I discovered, and now we are going to clone new voice. The key thing here is that you have to submit recording of at least 30 seconds, but each file needs to be under 10 megabytes. You can upload multiple files as well. Now, the hack that I discovered was this Reddit post of the phrases that you have to say while recording training audio. Those sentences broadly covers the range of your voice, words, sounds, combinations of letters. Because when I just recorded me simply talking, the version of the voice that I got was really not that good. And I was asking myself, is it me or is it the system? It turns out it was me, no surprise. So then I read those sentences out loud, recorded into multiple files and trained the new version. And that was much better. One disclaimer here, I have an accent and that impacts the recording as well. So I have to live with that, which is fine. If you are a native English speaker, your trained voice is going to be way better than mine, that's for sure. The funny thing is that you are going to see how your own trained voice being translated into other languages. And that was real fun to hear. My voice, even with accent, speak German, which I think is way better sounding than me actually speaking German. Anyhow, now for a fun part. Currently with NVIDIA AI, you have six workflows to choose from. I will show you two of them. One, where NVIDIA AI does all the heavy lifting, meaning that it researches the topic, writes a script for me, puts the video together, looks for stock footage, music, and way more than that. And the second one is script to video, where it is us who spend hours on researching and scripting, and we feed that, and the NVIDIA AI will read that verbatim. And there's benefits to both, and you will see why. Let's start with script to video. Here's the Anthropic Cloud model comes into the picture. There are many different ways to write scripting prompts, but I really fell in love with the Claude's prompt tool. When you go to Claude.ai, on the left bottom corner, when you click on your email, you go to API console. From here, you find generate a prompt. If you wanna go and you want reliable way that uses proper prompt formatting, I find Claude to be incredible. So here you can really describe just in plain, lazy language what you want. So we don't even need to define the role here. We just say, what's the job? For example, your job is to write video scripts that are engaging and informative about this topic. And I will provide you this topic. I love that when Claude generates prompts, it uses variables and it has very easy way in the workbench or formerly playground to input if the content that you want to turn to the script as a variable by just one click and you can reiterate and change that without copy pasting the whole prompt. On top of that, in this environment, you can control the amount of tokens used. Okay, we got our prompt, we got our script. Now we go back into NVIDIA AI. First, we choose script to video. Here you have a couple of options and I'm going to do YouTube video. We paste our script here in the big box and you have wide, large context window. 24,000 characters. For the background music, I'm going to cheat here and just use for now 
what NVIDIA AI gives us as a prompt. So we will go for inspiring, energetic, and happy. Now voice. So you can choose male, female, or my voice. In my voice, I have a couple of versions. The best one I find was version three, and it's going to be narrator. If you want more like a podcast type of video, you can add more speakers. As many as you want, you can specify those speakers, or you can add one more speaker and say, use any type of voice. Or you don't specify anything and let NVIDIA AI select voices as it thinks appropriate. You have many options for different subtitles. I'm going to use clean subtitles with no outline. Use stock as needed. And for the music, I'm going to use best audio available. We click generate. Meta prompting is like inception for AI. It's a prompt within a prompt. We got the video but it's not the end of it. Let's say you want to make some changes. This is where edit command box comes in handy. And NVIDIA AI really made it fast now, so it almost feels that you give instructions and the changes happen instantly. You can make all sorts of tweaks using text prompts here. For example, change subtitles, or if you haven't added subtitles, you can add them here, just saying add subtitles. You can specify what type of subtitles. You can lower the music volume or change the music altogether. You can even change the script saying change the intro and add a joke in the beginning. It is really that easy. But now this is where things really get exciting. Remember how I said creating videos in multiple languages? It's no secret that the biggest YouTuber is Mr. Beast. And maybe one thing that you don't know that Mr. Beast dubs his videos in multiple languages. And that has been always super expensive. If you don't have multi-million production team, here's the easiest way to turn your content into different languages create educational or training videos and give your learners an option to choose in what type of language they want videos to be. And to change the language, it's as simple as typing in a box, change this video language into German. Boom. Schluss mit dem Grübeln über den perfekten KI-Prompt. Überlassen Sie die Arbeit dem Meta-Prompting. Und jetzt dein Video ist in Deutsch. Was ist deine Meinung? Ist Gorda jetzt besser oder KI-Video ist besser? And this was me speaking German. Anyway, enough of scaring all the Germans away. And you can do this with any of these available languages. Now, for more precise controls, you can also use the edit script and edit media controls, all the way down to editing music. And these controls allows you to fine-tune every aspect of your video. Here you can input simple prompts to get different type of stock footage or replace the stock footage with your own altogether. Oh, did I mention that NVIDIA AI also has iOS app and it has exactly the same interface as a web application so you can easily create videos on a go or while traveling. And your videos sync simultaneously between web and app. So if you created video on your laptop and now you're on a go, you can export and publish videos instantly. Now let me show you the function that NVIDIA AI does all the heavy lifting of researching and scripting. Here you can choose YouTube Explainer or News Video. For now, I'm going to choose YouTube Explainer. And here again, I use Claude, but this time slightly differently. So I use the same functionality of crafting a prompt. This time I created a prompt where I can provide the content of the video, but also screenshot of the NVIDIA interface. What I'm asking Claude to do is to look at the NVIDIA interface and create prompts that I can then take copy paste and input into NVIDIA just like that. Meaning both the main boxes, but also the music or tone of voice instead of sitting and thinking what kind of music it could be. And of course you can engage with Claude in a conversation and ask for different music types or tone of voice. Before we wrap up, I want to make one disclaimer, and I'm really grateful for NVIDIA team allowing me to do that. In 2023, obviously I knew about NVIDIA AI, but as a video content creator who edits my own videos, I was comprehensive about it. Till I realized something. What NVIDIA has done, and it's not all perfect in all the place, but what it has done is open people's minds to how video creation could look like, where everything is in one place and you are really interacting in a natural language as you would do with video editor. And just imagine from this point on, it's already incredible and people love it so much, but it's going to be just getting better. And it opened the whole new world of possibilities. Before you had to pay subscription for the stock footage, then you had to go and purchase music from another place. Then you work with very complex video editing tools, training your voices in another place, multi-language functions in yet another one. But now everything here 
is in one. And I think when we look at the price of NVIDIA, I think it is really generous for what you get. Talking about price, NVIDIA AI, you can start generating videos for free. If you're more serious and you have financial means, you can upgrade the pro plan. In the pro plan, you will be able to clone your voices. And it starts at $20 a month, which removes watermarks, gives you access to voice cloning, and logs high quality stock footage. Plus you can export videos in high quality. If you're interested, you will find the link in the description box below, and you can use my code GODAGO50, get twice the number of video generation credits in your first month. Thank you NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. I'm just excited how making videos are becoming easier and easier. Therefore, people like myself can make more